Hello everyone, Lisa with Lisa Cape and Quilts here and I'm so glad you've joined me. Today we're going to be doing a short little video all about quilt math and more specifically binding and how much binding strips should you cut to finish off your quilt. Uh, recently a friend of mine asked how do you calculate the amount of binding you make for your quilts and so I thought I would bring you along and show you how I figure out how much binding to make without running out before you finish your quilt. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? I am showing a quilt as an example. This is the binding on this quilt. This is a fun little quilt. If I have not posted the video yet for this, then it is coming soon. I made a quilt with Girl Scout patches. And so uh, if I haven't already posted this video, keep an eye out for it. And if this is the first time you've joined me, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and follow along in my quilting journey. And if you hit the little bell notification, you'll get notified when I make new quilts. So today we're going to figure out how much binding to make for your quilt. And so what I did to help us out is I made a little PDF and I'm hoping that this simplifies the whole process. And if you'd like a copy of this PDF, then you can go down to the description box by clicking a little gray arrow here or um, underneath the title of the video you'll see a caption that says see more. One of those two places opens the description box and in the description box you'll find a link that brings you over to my Dropbox and you can download this PDF. Now I like to use Adobe Reader to open my PDF documents and when you open up your PDF and you go to print this, you'll make, you'll want to make sure that you go to the orientation, the page orientation, and change it from a portrait to a landscape. And that way your PDF will print out like this. You can save this to your computer or your device and print it out whenever you are doing a new quilt. And this will help you figure out how much binding to make for your quilt. So I just thought I would share this uh, little PDF with you. So we're going to use this quilt as an example in today's video. And we're going to start right up here at the very top. So what I like to do is I like to take my quilt width, and that's the total number of inches from the left side of my quilt to the right side of my quilt. And I write it in this space here. So this quilt here is 45 inches wide. We're going to times that by 2 and that gives us a 90 inches. The quilt length from the very top of the quilt to the bottom of the quilt is 60 inches on this quilt. We're going to times that by 2 and that gives us 120 inches. Now we're just going to add a little plus sign here and we're going to add these two numbers and give us a total number of inches for our quilt. And that's 210 inches. That's the total perimeter all the way around your quilt. Now what I like to do for bigger quilts like this is give myself an extra 10 inches. So I'm going to write in 10 more inches here because we're doing mitered corners and we want to have enough binding at the end when we're all the way back to where we started on our quilt to be able to finish off the binding nice and pretty. So I like to add about 10 inches. If I'm doing a smaller project like a mug rug or maybe just a small uh, wall quilt or something like that, you could reduce this number to maybe like 5 or 6 inches. But if I'm doing a bigger size quilt, I usually add 10 inches. So we're going to add the 10 extra inches to give ourselves some working room. And we're going to then add the total inches and our 10 inches, which brings us to 220 inches as the grand total inches of the perimeter of our quilt. Now you could uh, figure out from different pieces of scrap binding like this, you could measure them all out and give yourself 220 inches or if you want to figure out how many strips of yardage to cut then I'm going to show you how to use this portion down here. We're going to take the grand total of inches this number right here and put it on this line here. 
so 220 inches and then we're going to measure the width of the fabric that we're making our binding from in my case my piece was 53 inches because I was using a scrap of fabric from the back of the quilt most of the time I just use yardage and it's like 43 or 44 inches wide or sometimes I even put together scrap pieces of uh, material and make binding from that whatever you're using find out the total width of it and put it right in that section there the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take our grand total inches 220 and we're going to divide that by the width of our binding fabric before we cut it and that is going to give us this number here 4.15 that is a total number of strips of binding fabric that I need to assemble to make the binding for my quilt. Now anytime that I have a number that's not a whole number, I usually like to round up. So in this case, 4.15, I would round up to five strips of binding. And that's going to give you a little bit extra, uh, but it's going to make everything so much easier when you're coming to uh, close off your binding where you started and where you're um, leading up to at the very end uh, you'll have some extra but you'll have plenty to work with and you won't have to worry about running out of binding when you're a little bit too short has that ever happened to you <laughs> so this is the method that I use to figure out how much binding I need uh, at any point you could certainly stop and rewind this and if you have any questions you can uh, certainly jump down to the comments section below and and I will try to be helpful and answer any questions that you do have also if you haven't joined the creative crew Facebook group we would love to have you come and join us we have lots of talented experienced members over there who would love to help with not just quilt math related uh, questions but all kinds of questions in all different genres of creating quilts and other projects and so make sure to check that out and also if you have uh, questions and you would like to speak with me but you don't do Facebook I'm going to put a link to my Etsy shop below and you can send me a message through my Etsy shop you can always ask uh, questions down in the comments section below this video as well. I hope you find this PDF really helpful. Uh, I know that now I don't even have to use this. I just sit down and, and write it all, jot it all down on a scrap piece of paper. But uh, I know that I have lots of new sewers and quilters and I would love to be able to help you out as much as possible. Okay, until I see you really soon, I hope you all have a fantastic day and that you make just a little bit of time for yourself and uh, do something really creative for yourself today. See you all really soon. Bye, everyone.